London, Europe's biggest, busiest city. At night, it's lit up for workers and revelers. And yet, there is one place that offers some sanctuary from the bustle and bright lights, Richmond Park. Until morning, it's the darkest and quietest place in the capital. This magical space provides peace and tranquility for millions of Londoners. But it's also a home to thousands of wildlife species. Richmond Park is the largest of London's royal parks. But more than that, it's a national nature reserve, a place to walk, to contemplate, and enjoy the natural world. I've lived beside it for over 60 years, and it's been an inspiration to me. Summer, the park's sensitive and legally protected acid grasslands are a wonderful sight. The profusion of colorful wildflowers and thousands of busy flying insects. Many of the wildflowers have lovely traditional names such as harebell, sheep sorrel, and yellow tormentil. Crucial to the park's success as a haven for wildlife is water. Without water, there can be no life. There are about 30 bodies of standing water within the park, as well as reed beds and a flowing brook. been visiting Richmond Park for centuries, but now five and a half million people visit it each year, and steps have to be taken to protect the wildlife. If we leave nothing behind and take nothing away, if we in fact tread lightly, Richmond Park will remain a paradise for us and our children and our grandchildren to enjoy for many centuries to come. There are simple things we could all do to help protect the park and its wildlife. Wildflowers, trees, nuts, acorn and fungi are all essential food sources for birds, bees and deer. Fallen wood is home to many insects. Please leave it where it is. Take home or clean up anything not naturally found in the park. Clear up after your dog. Take home your litter, or put it in the bins provided so deer don't eat it. Give deer plenty of room, especially during birthing and the rut. Keep your dog on a lead in sensitive areas and near animals. If you're on foot, stay on established paths and away from the anthills. If you're on a bike, stay to the roads and bike trail. And please, don't light a fire or barbecue. Whether your visit to Richmond Park is once in a lifetime or every day, enjoy it and be inspired by its history, beauty and wildlife. Please love it as I do and remember to tread lightly in Richmond Park.